In this first video set, we will be covering isometric drawing. This first video will cover the introduction and theory. We will discuss the different types of engineering drawings, orthogonal, oblique parallel, perspective and isometric. We will then develop an isometric projection using auxiliary views and then we will discuss the differences between isometric drawings and isometric projections. We will also then cover the use of isometric grid paper. So what are some types of engineering drawings? Well firstly there are orthogonal drawings. These are possibly most, the most common type of engineering drawing and it's what we might give someone to have something made. They are generally drawn with multiple two-dimensional views and drawn to scale and dimensioned. We then have several different types of pictorial drawings, one of which is isometric, the other is oblique parallel and perspective. An example of oblique parallel is generally how you might go about drawing a cube, where you take an orthogonally, orthogonally drawn cube and then have parallel lines coming off it to try add some depth. Perspective drawings use lines moving towards a vanishing point to try add some depth to the image, an example of which is shown in this image here. This perspective drawing is also generally the kind of drawing that might be preferred by artists. It's not generally used by engineers because if we say take this edge of this building here and compare it with this edge of the, with the this edge over here which is of the same building so those two edges should be the same height but if we were to measure them you can clearly say they would measure as different heights so as engineers this drawing is not preferred just another example to show how you can have a perspective drawing that actually goes towards two vanishing points so in this picture here, we can see that if you follow each street, we arrive at two separate vanishing points. So I just want to do a bit more on orthogonal drawings because they are quite important and we will be using them to come up with uh, some of our theory for isometric drawings. So on the right here, I have, a, I have SolidWorks open and I've created a rectangular prison. So this current view is actually the isometric view of the prison, but uh, I'm just going to show how, here how we'd go about creating an orthogonal drawing of this prison. So to start with, I'm going to change my view so we're looking directly down on top of the prison. So we get this shape here. Now, on the left here, we're now going to draw this top view. So this will be one of our views of our orthogonal drawing. So we draw something like that, and that's our top view. And then we could label it, uh, give it some dimensions, and that there. So, and now we want to do, to show more what's um, happening with our prism, we'll go and we'll get a front view. So we'll rotate here. So that's our front view here in SolidWorks. And we'll now take that and we can draw that over on our left hand page here. And that's something like that. And you see we've rotated 90 degrees. So we place our front view um, down below our top view. And that's representing that we've uh, rotated 90 degrees from that first view. So we can now do the same and rotate, say, 90 degrees to the right. So we get this view here. And then we can do our final drawing on the left and get that there, which is what we see from SolidWorks. So that is a very basic orthogonal drawing, and that's a, an orthogonal drawing of a rectangular prism. 